Hello fellow artist and friend. In this video, I'm going to be painting a woodland mushroom house. I'm going to be using a triad of primary colors to do a wash and then build layers on top of it. So let's get started. Okay, for this triad, I'm going to be using manganese blue. I'm going to go with this alizarin crimson for my red or magenta. So basically, we're following colors that are similar to the cyan, magenta, and yellow. And on my first wash, I'm going to keep it very light, and then I'm going to be doing a lemon yellow. But I am going to water that down pretty good. I'm not too worried about it being too vibrant because I know it's going to mix and mingle with my other colors, and by doing that, it will gray it down or mute it down. I'm using um, Arches Cold Pressed. It's on a block. Um, I've got some areas masked out that I want to keep light. Um, and I'm just going to kind of start here at the top and kind of go with my gut intuition of where the warms and the cooler tones are going to be. So... Up here is going to be a little bit of blue. And I'm not, I think I will go ahead and spray my paper. But I'm not going to smooth it over. Why? I want it to have more of an organic feel to it. And it's all right. With these colors mixed together. And I'm just kind of working my way across it's going to look like all kinds of crazy colors but that's what i want okay and back into i need to get more of my yellow get that part there light Come into more of my blue here. Okay. Back to the yellow. See, it's making its own grays in here too, which, which is really nice. I want to make sure that I'm keeping. Keeping up, not letting that line dry there. Grab a little bit more blue. I know I'm getting really darker up in here. All right, come back into this blue. Not too afraid to bring in some of those reds here too, to our shaded areas. All right. I want 
some yellow hip in here. Right in here. It's okay while it's still wet, let it this thing. But the minute it starts drying, we need to let it go on to dry. Alright, I'm almost done with this first layer. Oh, I want that more blue. There we go. See how it's grayed itself down, but it's still so colorful. Okay, I'm going to let this first layer dry, and then we'll be back. So I've let that dry naturally. Um, the reason why I prefer to let it dry naturally is so that the pigments have more time to mingle and do their thing. But I don't think I'm going to add another full wash to it, but I am going to come in here and start a little bit on the background. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and cut in when something important needs to be said. forward a little bit and work on my mushroom here. going to let this first layer dry and I'll be back. So this has dried overnight. I've removed some of the masking fluid but I've chose to leave some white areas on the mushroom roof here and as well as these because I still am going to do more layers and I'll remove that later. Um, I've also laid my um, paper block flat earlier I had it at a 30 degree angle which is good for washes but um, I, I like to work flat when I'm doing detailed work that's just a personal preference you do you anyway I'm gonna speed this up and break in when something important needs to be said
by using layers, you can really build up depth. I think I, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Check out this playlist for more tutorials, and I'll see you on the next one.